Do you know the film The Devil Wears Prada? Probably you know. It's quite a funny film with a leader of a fashion magazine and every time she would come to the office everybody would be, you know, run around like a headless chicken and, and be very, very nervous. I had this situation too and I'd like to share with you what I learned from this leader who was a little bit, you know, like the devil. Hey, my name is Armin Rao. I'm the founder of A. Leonard Rao, the Entrepreneur's Entrepreneur, and I, hail, I help late-stage entrepreneurs to become better leaders. I've got more than 20 years of experience in management, leadership, and entrepreneurship, and I'm sharing it with entrepreneurs so that they can grow their business more and that they can manage the complexities of their business better. Today's session is about a name called David Andrews, who founded a company called Exchanging in 1999, and three leadership secrets that you can take away from him. Watch it until the end so that you will actually get all the three secrets. If you don't want to miss any of my content, feel free to click on the button underneath this video to subscribe to my channel and also don't forget to switch on the bell so that you're always informed about new leadership secrets or leadership insights for entrepreneurs. So we are going to talk about uh, what I have learned, three things that I've learned from David and that I would like to give you as leadership insights that help you to manage your business better. Now, leadership secret number one here is everything can be handled with a matrix. Well, in this company that we worked uh, for at that time, I worked with them between 2004 actually and 2006 for two and a half years as a product sales director. And one thing that we can learn here is that with a certain standardized structure, you can actually manage your business quite effectively. Uh, within the company of David Andrews, it was the matrix. Everything was put into a matrix. Uh, if it was customer satisfaction, sales service, and everything was reported and measured and controlled in matrices. And from these matrices, you would actually develop plans of action. So that is the secret number one of uh, leadership because then you standardize it and everybody has one common orientation point and one common basis to work from which makes leading and following much much easier. Leadership secret number one uh, from David Andrews here is everything can be handled with a matrix. What actually stands for everything can be handled with a standardized structure. Let's put it like that. The second one leadership principle that uh, David uh, applied was absolute authority. So he had the saying, there's only one CEO in this company and that is not you. When you would talk with you, for example, about if he had an argument with you. Um, <clears throat> he certainly was also a very strong leader. And um, the good thing uh, was that he uh, created this authority mainly by leading through example. So he asked for a lot from his employees, but he would work very hard too. So he gave the example so that um, we always, you know, we're happy to follow because, you know, we, the, the boss did this way, the founder did this way. So we were happy to follow the founder. So leadership secret number two is absolute authority by leading by example. The third leadership discipline of um, David Andrews was executive discipline. The third leadership secret was executive discipline. What do I mean by that? Well, the thing is, I, I worked for big corporates before and I, I, I saw so many situations where decisions were taken in management committees and then they were not executed. They were just not executed because you could always, I also saw this with, with other companies later on, and they were just not execu executed because people found, um, found excuses why it could not be executed. For example, for example, you know, you can't, you can't save yourself to death and, and, and silly things like that, which is, which is actually never the case, you know? You, you're never going to save yourself to death. If you have to save, you're gonna save, you know? It's like in your private life. So executive discipline is extremely important if you want to lead a business to success. Once you have decided, you are going to implement it and you are not going to find excuses. And there will always be disadvantages of that, but that doesn't matter, you 
execute. Now, these were three leadership secrets from David Andrews. Everything can be matched with a structure then to have absolute authority with your people by leading by example. And the third one was executive discipline. The LIFE program actually teaches you many, many tricks, tips and tools for successful leadership so that you can manage your business better, better and grow within weeks. If you would like to speak about a very specific challenge in your business that you would like to overcome or to address in order to grow or to manage your business better, feel free to apply for a private session with me. Click on the link underneath this video to apply for a 100% free consulting session where we have a chat about your current situation, what your challenge is, where you want to be in one year or two years or three years, and I will plan with you exactly the way on how you can get there. And we will start with one thing that is the most important thing. This is not a sales session. It's a pure consulting session. It's a chat rather than anything else um, where I would like to help you. So if you want to have that, there's no sales, I assure you, then you click on the link underneath this video and you apply for the free session. This was Armin Rao from A. Leonard Rao, the entrepreneur's entrepreneur. And don't forget, lead yourself.